school in association with Great TV. This is my third video. Uh, in the previous videos, we studied the first lesson. We completed the first lesson. Hope uh, you have been, um, you are been, you are getting benefits from the videos. And uh, as I said earlier, uh, you might, uh, you, uh, you may be going through the exercises and dealing with the different questions. Okay, today let's begin our second lesson. In the first lesson, we studied the introduction to society, you know, literal meaning of society, definitions of society, characteristics of society. Similarly, development and uh, development of society, features of development of society. But here, in the second lesson, we are going to study the classification of society or let's say types of society. Under unit 1, lesson 2, types of society. There are various types of society in the world. Is a society is you know based on various different factors. For example, society can be classified on the basis of livelihood, technology people use in the survival in the society, similarly language, religion, okay, and economic activities they practice for their livelihood and other different uh, bases are there that can classify the society into different categories. Before dealing with the uh, types of societies, types of society based on different other factors, let's, let's see the society's classification of society in the eyes of different uh, anthropologists or sociologists, different philosophers of the world. Do you know about anthropologist? Who is called anthrop anthropologist? A person who studies about human behaviors, human characters, human nature, or let's say origin of human, okay, human society, such person is called anthropologist. Okay, in the eyes of anthropologist, sociologist, and different philosophers, how are society categorized or how are society classified? Some of the representative uh, um, anthropologists or philosophers I have written on the board. For example, Sir Edward Bonnet Taylor. He was an English anthropologist. Okay. According to him, society has been classified as nomadic society, barbarian society, civilized society. Nomadic society, briefly saying, you know, the society where people have no permanent settlement. In this type of society, people do not live permanently in a particular place. They live periodically. I mean to say, they migrate from place to place. For example, this type of society was especially found in the pastoral society. Pastoral society where people uh, used to depend on, on the domestic, you know, domesticated animals or let's say depend on animals for their survival and they used to move with their animals from one pastor land to another pastor land. Let me see again the society where people have no permanent settlements but periodic settlements and in the after a certain period of time they used to migrate from place to place. That type of society is called nomadic society. Another barbarian society, let's say uncivilized society, people uh, we beyond the people living in the society, you know, uh, beyond the laws, okay, they are far away from the influence of you know, civilization, influence of education, influence of culture, okay, very barbarous people. You know, this word first originated from Greece or Greek word, 
okay in greek this uh, term was used to such people who could not speak greek language okay non greek non greek speaking people used to be called barbarian at that time okay uh, here you should understand barbarian means uncivilized uncultured people living beyond the laws or rules having no social etiquettes okay another civilized people well mannered well cultured okay um, well trained with different social values cultural values you know uh, education being the foundation of such society civilized society let's say modern society can be given as the example of civilized society okay another gerhard lenski he, he was the you know american sociologist in his eyes how is society classified according to him simple agricultural society advanced agricultural society industrial society and special society later uh, we will further discuss about uh, such agricultural you know industrial society in detail um, you know uh, right now just introduction to you simple agricultural society advanced agricultural society industrial society and special society similarly another great philosopher of 19th century okay Karl Marx, okay, uh, he has you know influenced the world with his you know philosophy concept, political concept, economic concept. He has multiple identities. Okay, he was the he was the multi-dimensional person. Okay, versatile okay. person. He was German philosopher, economist, historian, sociologist, political theorist, journalist, and socialist revolutionary. According to him, society can be divided as hunting and gathering society, pastoral society, feudal society, capitalist society, and socialist society. Okay? Hunting and gathering society is the is marked as the beginning of human society. Okay, um, where people used to live in the forest. Okay, in a group, they used to depend on you know hunting animals and gathering forest fruits. Okay, edible fruits, right? Okay, and another. Pastoral society, the society, as I said earlier, the society in which people depend on animal rearing or domesticated animals for their survival. Pastoral society. Next, feudal society. Feudal society uh, is the society in which you know certain groups of people are uh, uh, holding large you know portion of lands and you know uh, uh, there especially in the feudal society there used to be two classes of people one feudal groups another peasant groups Fe feudal groups used to hold the lands and they used to you know uh, enforce the peasants to cultivate the lands or the you know, poor peasants used to work for the feudals okay feudals used to exploit them by uh, engaging them in the in their lands okay and uh, um, you know uh, lands were under the control of the feudals poor peasants had to work hard hard labor for the survival working in the feudals land so feudals used to take control over the society and uh, uh, common peasants had a very miserable life okay they had to uh, go through different you know exploitations they had to suffer uh, from the exploitations economic exploitations especially 
as they did not have any lands, they had to work for the service of the land lords. Okay, that type of society was called feudal society. And uh, next, capitalist society and socialist society. Okay, uh, these two types of society. Okay, based on the economic uh, practice, you know, carried out in the world, this type of society is found. You know, capitalist society and socialist society. These two types of um, economic uh, systems are prevailing in the world now. Based on this, capitalist society can be referred to such society in which means of means of production are privately owned. I mean to say, individuals are allowed to own property or let's say means and resources of the country are uh, under the ownership of the individuals. Individuals have freedom to engage in different economic activities for their survival. I repeat, capitalist society is such society in which individuals are free to own wealth by exploiting or utilizing the different means of production of the nation. There, there is no control of the state or government in uh, earning wealth for the survival of the people. People are free to, you know, economic freedom. There is free market and there is competition uh, among the individuals in earning profit by carrying out their various professions, business occupations. Okay, in return, they pay uh, certain amount of money as the tax to the government and the role of the government here is to just create environment in the society or in the nation just to create environment so that the individuals can involve in different occupations and uh, live their life, run their life as well as contribute to the development of the nation. The government just create the creates the environment in the nation where people can freely work and earn wealth. Another type of society, socialist society, in this type of society, there is no question of private ownership of resources. There is no question of um, private wealth. Okay? All the means and resources of the society are under the control of the state, under the control of the nation, under the control of the government. Then what is the role of the people? People, as per their capacity, as per their skills, as per their abilities, they are involved in different professions, occupations. Okay? And nation or let's say government or state later uh, in an in a, in a equal manner fulfills all the needs and necessities of the people. Okay? I need to say there is strict control of the government over the resources. There is public ownership of the resources and resources later are equally distributed to the people as per the need and necessity of the people. This type of system, this type of uh, the society where this type of system, economic system is practiced, that type of society is called socialist society. Okay? These are the categories of society according to the, according to the different anthropologists, philosophers and you know sociologists. Similarly, society can be classified, society can be classified on other various basis. I have written here on the board, my dear students. Classification of society on various other basis. 
classification of society and their basis you can see one on the basis of economy economic system as i said uh, this is uh, this is uh, close to the classification of society by class karl marx capitalist society socialist society and mixed society i already explained to you about capitalist society a society in which the means of production are means of production are privately owned or let's say individuals are free to you know utilize the means and resources of the country and they have freedom of earning they have freedom of earning wealth by you exploiting and utilizing the resources of the country okay there is free market free economy and people in the nation are um, people in the nation compete with each other for more profit okay and from their earning they on certain amount is paid to the government and with that tax collected the government runs various welfare programs in order to raise the status of poor vulnerable and needy people of the society and tries to maintain equality economic equality even in the capitalist society if uh, the government runs welfare programs giving you know priority to the vulnerable poor and uh, needy people of the society then in this type of system also economic equality to some extent can be maintained or let's say survival of the people in the society in the nation can be guaranteed another socialist society as i said there is no question of privatization okay all the resources of the nation all the means of production of the country are under the ownership of state people have no freedom of earning private wealth okay and here properties or let's say resources are publicly owned in return the government takes care the citizens to fulfill their needs and necessities the role of the citizen is to just working for the country involving in different uh, professions occupations business okay this type of society is uh, you know really found in this modern world okay uh, most of the countries have adopted capitalism socialism okay uh, is only in the slogan of the different political parties but in practice we don't find you know uh, our society our country or this world heading towards the socialism okay every nation except few is promoting promoting capitalism anyways on the mixed society uh, the society where both kinds of economic systems are in practice capitalist capitalist or capitalism and socialism both are practiced in this type of society for example nepal nepal is one of such countries which has adopted both economic systems that is capitalism and socialism on the on the basis of language society can be categorized for example unilingual a society where only one language is spoken okay single language society only one language is spoken that type of society is called unilingual society another you know in this um, diverse world it is very difficult to find a society having only one language okay uh, uh, because of uh, migration internal migration external migration globalization most of the societies have been diverse anyways um, uh, especially in china 
some of the societies are in unilingual society okay or let's say in a nation in some small pockets that type of society can be found okay uh, another bilingual society a society where uh, two, lang two languages are spoken by the people that type of society is called bilingual society another multilingual society a society having the people who speak more than two languages okay nowadays most of the societies have become uh, multilingual society uh, Nepali society is also multilingual society many societies of Nepal are multilingual society on the, on the basis of settlement area where do the people live villages cities okay uh, on the basis of this also society can be categorized as rural society where people have simple life okay um, people um, especially following agriculture and people away from the influence of moralism okay um, that type of society is called rural society urban society advanced society you know facilitated with all kinds of modern amenities or facilities developed society where educated and skilled civilized people live that type of society is called urban society similarly based on religion religious faiths people practice different types of lifestyles and that can be another you know medium another way of classifying the society Hindu society Buddhist society Muslim society Christian society these are the major languages of the world apart from them there are other languages also there are other societies based on the uh, sorry not languages religion these are the major religions of the world you know Hinduism Buddhism Islam, people who follow Islam are, you know, are called Muslim, Christians, people who, uh, you know, adopt the lifestyle based on the principle of philosophy of Christianity, they are called Christians, and, you know, based on the religious faiths, religious practices, religious beliefs, there are different types of society. Okay, these are just examples. More, you know, apart from them, there are other religions also. People being other religions also, the people are practicing. For example, Kira in Nepal, in the eastern part of Nepal, Rai practice Kira, and uh, Kira uh, religion is also one of the prominent religions of Nepal and people. Following the lifestyle based on Kirat religion, uh, their society is called Kirat society. On the basis of time period, a society can be divided as ancient society, medieval society, and modern society. In the context of Nepal, ancient society, especially Lisibi, you know, Kirat society, such society is called you know ancient society, medieval society, where more more rules started to live in the country. That society uh, is called medieval society, you know, modern society after the you know, you know after the conquest of Kathmandu Valley by 1597. Okay? Uh, that period marks as the beginning of modern period in the context of Nepal. In this way, society Human society can be classified in various ways. There are various types of society. Apart from all these, there is another classification of society that that is to be studied in detail in our in our book, in our course, in our lesson. Okay. Uh, for example, on the basis of subsistence strategy. On the basis of subsistence strategy. There can be the six types of societies. Subsistence strategies means 
what means, what methods, what techniques people use for their survival. On the basis of that also, society can be divided. There are six types of societies. Number one, hunting and gathering society. Number two, pastoral society. Number three, horticultural society. Number four, agrarian society or agricultural society. To some extent, we can say. Number five, industrial society. Number six, post-industrial society. We will learn in detail about these six types of societies in in my next video. Okay. Um, having said this, I would like to end today's um, you know class. Thank you very much.